I need to find out which of these numbers are prime and which are composite. The numbers are 9, 27, 41, and 51. If I draw a rectangle using exactly the number of squares for the number I want to find out about, I can find factors of that number from the rectangle's dimensions. Knowing the factors of the number can help me decide whether it's prime or composite. I'll start with the number 9. My first rectangle has one row of 9 squares. Since the dimensions of the rectangle are 1 by 9, 1 and 9 are both factors of 9. I can make another rectangle with exactly 9 squares that has 3 rows with 3 squares each. Because the dimensions of the rectangle are 3 by 3, 3 is also a factor of 9. Hmm, I don't think there are any other rectangles with exactly 9 squares. Based on the dimensions of my rectangles, I know the factors of 9 are 1, 3, and 9. So, is 9 a prime or composite number? 9 is a composite number because it has more than two factors. Next is the number 27. I was able to make two rectangles with exactly 27 squares. The factors of 27 are 1, 3, 9, and 27. 27 has more than two factors, so that would make it a composite number. Now, with the number 41. I could only create one rectangle with exactly 41 squares. The only factors of 41 are 1 and 41. Because the only factors are 1 and the number itself, 41 is a prime number. And for my last number, 51. I was able to make two rectangles with exactly 51 squares. The factors of 51 are 1, 3, 17, and 51. 51 has more than two factors, so that would make it a composite number. Drawing rectangles on grid paper really helps me decide if a number is prime or composite. I could only create one rectangle for the prime number 41. A prime number has exactly two factors, one and the number itself. I could create more than one rectangle for the composite numbers 9, 27, and 51. A composite number has more than two factors. Now it's time to go outside for a while.